YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Rival Stars uh, iOS. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more horse racing content. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do today. I'm definitely going to do live events. I want to try breeding, but I have to wait and see what we can actually do with that. Because I definitely need new horses. I've had the same horses for two years on this game. Way, way, way too long. Um... Yeah, so I've already done Division 1. I'll come back to that. I'm going to head to Division 2, and then we'll do Division 3. So Majestic Beauty, my beautiful gal here. She's ready to rock and roll. Um, if anybody does play this game, I'm going to put my friend code down in the comment uh, section below because we can add each other. We can send each other items, um, which is really helpful. So if anybody does play this game and wants to join, I will eventually also be creating our own uh, HRG Stables team. I just need more gold for that. And I've been spending my gold to do other stuff in the game. It's not like I can't get it. I've just been spending it on other things. So once I get enough gold, which I'll try to get then the next couple of days, I'll go ahead and create that team, and then you guys will be able to join. And like I said, we'll actually be able to hold a, a legitimate standing against other teams of other real players in the world. To me, that's the best thing that's going for Rival Stars on the iOS, um, because without a doubt, the PC version is much, much better um, as far as its options. Um, it's It doesn't have the obnoxious pay uh, pay to play or you know I should say pay to win window you can play this game for free but in terms of like trying to get the best horses the best stats um, they're, they're, they're definitely selling themselves out and I, I do like rival stars I think people think I'm just playing this game because it's popular and it's like no I've, I've I like this game a lot it's just um, it, it requires a lot of time like I'm not I have to really be dedicated to a mobile game to really put the time and effort into it as I should this is a game I've been wanting to bring back to the channel for like a while. I, I promise you I've probably been the most laziest when it comes to like saying I'm going to play this game and then I just like don't because I'd rather do something else or, you know, I just don't have the time to like try to be meticulous about my horses and the breeding because you do have to pay attention to that stuff, especially if you're trying to be competitive for live events. Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting your time. Um, so like I said, I do genuinely enjoy this game. I like the challenge of competing against other real players like that is fun to me because it's the closest you can get to an actual pvp format like nobody really plays like the pvp on the desktop like i've tried racing i may get one player like every five to ten races so this is realistically the closest you can get to competing against other players in the world who are also breeding their own horses and i like that challenge it it allows you to see exactly how well you're doing with your breeding and um you know whether or not you need to tweak some things in your pedigrees or your, or your your you know your breeding lines so there are things i do enjoy about this game i always have i mean I've, I've talked about those things for a while it looks beautiful um it is uh repetitive to an extent uh it's definitely it, it doesn't have the mechanics like gallop racer I, I mean everybody knows that this clearly this game wasn't created for that it would be nice if they did kind of push that narrative but um you have to think about the audience and uh, that plays this game and they're just not pushing for that super super hardcore realistic like horse racing um audience it's not to say they can't uh improve it i mean they're, they're they're improving and updating this game a lot which i do give them credit for it's a weird they it's a weird thing of like they'll make updates that some of the players in the community like and then they'll make updates that a lot of us like dislike for those of us that do play this game so it's a weird relationship to say the least but um I am enjoying myself. So we're racing here with Snowbell. This is Division 3. She's our grade 6 horse. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, like I, I really do want to see how successful I can be. Again, the, the live events in this game, it, it's the only reason I play it. I, I wouldn't even play this on mobile if that wasn't a thing. But the live events, it, it is something I look forward to doing and competing in. Um, just it's like doing time trials. Keep in mind, I'm an automotive racing fan, so I'm a big fan of Formula One. It's the same format. Like when you're qualifying in an automotive race for Formula One or GT, you know, GT3 or any series, I mean, you're qualifying. It's not racing other cars on the track, really. It's just about your fastest, putting in the fastest time. It's a time trial. That's all this is. This is essentially a time trial to see who can get the fastest time and then end up on top of the leaderboards. To me, that's exciting. Uh, that doesn't appeal to everybody, especially if you're not into like racing in that type of format. But um, the time trial format, uh, I, especially since I've myself have been undergoing uh, some training for 
uh, actual automotive racing and I've been partaking in that physically a lot more in the last uh, year and a half. I, I've, I really enjoy that format of racing. So like this, with what Rival Stars has with the live events and the time trials, that does actually appeal to me um, as a racing fan. It's not going to appeal to everybody, but it does actually appeal to me. And not to mention the horses in here just look beautiful. So there are things about this game I do enjoy. There are things I wish would change. There are things I do not like, but it, it doesn't take away the fact that I do enjoy this game when I, uh, you know, play it with a more open-minded mindset. And I'm just kind of just, you know, taking it uh, for what it is instead of trying being so negative. Like, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to come off as like that guy that's just, you know, uh, you know, grilling the game. Because it is what it is at the end of the day. Like, nobody's forced to play it. I'm not being forced to play it. Um, but as a gamer, obviously, we have to um, we have to express uh, our thoughts, our opinions, and our concerns with the games that we play. Um, so we're going to do this one one, uh, do this Division One race one more time, and then we're going to look into breeding. I think I want to try to get a great two horse, because that'll really help me. That'll help me out a lot. Like, all these people that I'm competing against on the live event leaderboards, they all have new horses. I have not done a single ounce of breeding in a long time. Like, Snow Ember is my newest horse, but I swear I, I created her like a year ago. And they just keep pushing me outside. My goodness, how rude can you be, bro? Give me some space, man. Um, so, I just wanted to um, clear up those things about the games, because I do get comments. And I think, like I said, some people think I'm playing this for only one reason and it's like i actually enjoy the game i don't play games i don't enjoy it's literally as simple as that um and the thing is like this game is not going to be like the mainstay game of the channel like because i still love the mechanics of gallop racer more than any other horse racing game like rival stars will never compete with gallop racer on that end gallop racer will always be the flagship game for this channel but like there are plenty of other good horse racing games i enjoy to play like horse racing manager 2 pocket stables like i enjoy a lot of different horse racing games gallop racer is amazing but like sometimes i get burned out from gallop racer and i enjoy playing other other games you know what i mean that's the thing when i feel burned out from gallop racer that is when i hop into my other games i mean some people can just i guess play gallop racer non-stop and that's fine like it's it's amazing game you know what i mean and um, it'll forever hold that place, I'm sure, in all of our hearts. But sometimes for me, I get burned out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling gout racer this week. I'm, I want to do something else, you know. And uh, that's where Rival Stars or, like I said, Horse Racing Manager 2, Final uh, Pocket Stables, Final Stretch 1. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Champion Jockey. That's where all those games come in. You know what I mean? So I think our time improved a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do for breeding. Actually, you know what? Let me do something different. Let's go ahead and do um, the cross country. I've actually, I've weirdly been enjoying this. And like, I don't even follow this as a sport, but like this is, it's been strangely relaxing and satisfying and like therapeutic. Um, I've been playing uh, this mode with Snowbell. She's my best horse for this. And um, it's been really enjoyable. Like I've actually been playing it like for fun, not just because I'm, I'm trying to acquire resources. I'm, it's actually been relaxing. The, this is the stuff about this game I do enjoy, the free roam, the option to actually have a more personal relationship with your horse. Like I, I wish the developers of God Racer were thinking about this stuff back in the day because that would have been awesome. Like I love taking my horses out to you know the um the countryside and, and the free roam and just kind of enjoying and seeing the sights like that is really fun for me i know it's not a thing for everybody but i personally enjoy that a lot and i think rival stars has hit that on the nail like i don't think anybody can take that away from this game there's no other horse game that's doing that better than rival stars at the moment they care about the game they care about the community but at the same time i think they're a little bit too money hungry so whoever's in charge definitely cares more about the financial success of the game you know compared to other things now she doesn't always want to turn um which is a little bit frustrating but it, it's fine <laughs> we'll get through um and i remember when i first started doing this mode i was struggling like a lot i could not figure out how to um get her turned properly but i think they did patch it the turning mechanics used to be like really bad I mean, like, really bad. Like, okay, there, there's a prime example of how bad it can get. Like, I'm still turning, and then, like, the horse will still kind of drift away. Oh, wow. We're not going to get the time, are we? Oh, no, we just got there. That's really slow. I usually finish at least seven seconds faster, but that's fine. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, there are things I enjoy. So uh, just to clear things up with people, and, and I'm also well aware everybody isn't gonna watch these videos. That I I don't lose sleep over that. The way I look at it, every or I should say not every YouTuber, but a lot of YouTubers, especially ones that uh, have a wide variety of games on their channel that they play. Um, there are games that some of their audience will watch and games that their audience won't watch. Like, that's perfectly fine. Like, it's not even a big deal. So, like, I'm not worried if, like, some, you know, some of you don't want to watch the Rival Stars videos. Like, it doesn't bother me, like, in the slightest at all, you know? Because at the end of the day, if Galp Racer is your favorite game to watch and play, that's just what you're going to watch. And that's all that matters. Like, you don't have to watch me play Rival Stars if it's just not something you're into. And, like, I, I promise you, I don't lose sleep over it. It doesn't even upset me, you know? That's the beauty of YouTube. Like, you can have that space where you can play several games on your channel and, you know, your audience can decide what they want to watch and what they don't want to watch. I literally do the same thing myself with my favorite YouTubers I pretty much watch every day. Some of their games I'm either not in the mood for or I just don't watch them because they're just not my type of games. But I will watch their others. Like, this is my favorite YouTuber. He plays a lot of horror games. I've never been a big horror game guy, so I usually don't watch his videos. But anything else he does, which is a lot of different content, I will watch those. So, like, that's a prime example. Like, you know what I mean? It's not even, like, a big deal. Um, but, like I said, I, I, I definitely do enjoy this game for what it is, despite some of the annoying things. And, um, like I said, I, I've been lazy about playing it. it, it it's just... I'm finally getting on myself to say, okay, Eric, like start playing this game. You've been talking about playing it and uploading it to YouTube off screen. And then like, you don't actually do it. Like I'm, I'm holding myself more accountable because I don't like saying I'm going to play something and then I don't. So, um, especially if I do want to, I just have to make the time for it and also find ways to enjoy it. So let's look at our horses here. Well, I think I showed you guys all of our horses in the last episode. I mean, this is beautiful, man. All of our horses are beautiful. Uh, I want some new ones. We need, I would like some darker grays or blacks. We don't have any of that, but we'll, we'll work on that. So Samurai Arrow, this is the boy I think I'm going to use for breeding. Because he's really, I mean, he's my strongest grade two horse. Uh, at least he has been for a while, considering I don't have any others. But when I did, uh, they weren't as good as him. That's why I got rid of all of them. Um, so I do want to breed him. Do we have space? We should. I wonder who I can breed with him. Any mare, probably? Let's see. Samurai Arrow, you should be my stud. Um, I did used to have Star Club in this game, believe it or not. And that's when I was, like, playing it. Uh, I swear you, I had Star Club when I wasn't even uploading it that much on YouTube. Like, most of you guys don't know. I, I used to play this game, like, a lot. I promise you. If you think, you know, I just hopped in. Like, I used to play this game a lot, especially off screen. This is, I just didn't upload YouTube videos as much as I should. Like, that's why I'm getting on it now. I'm really like a year and a half late of uploading gameplay of this because I used to play this a crap ton. Like, I had Star Club for like three or four months. And I, and I don't even know why I wasn't even thinking about putting this on YouTube. I guess this was just a game I played for fun and kind of relaxed with. And I didn't really think about YouTube with it. Um, but I promise you, like, I was playing this game a crap ton. Just none of you were obviously seeing it, so... Uh, keep that in mind if you think, oh, well, what's he doing? Is he just trying to sell himself out for the YouTube algorithm and the YouTube peeps? Nah, bro. Nah, girl. Nah, my peeps. I have been playing this game for a while. And um, it's, just, it's literally just been off screen. So if I breed these two, like, we have a 75% chance of getting a grade two horse. Now, bear with me, because I do have a spreadsheet. You guys, some of you guys don't really understand how serious I took this game. Like, I had spreadsheets of, like, data for, like, getting, like, the perfect horse. Like, that's, I promise you. In fact, I'll, I'll probably show it in um, another one of my videos. My computer's acting slow, because I'm downloading a Formula One game. This goes to show you. I like my Formula One, man. Now, like you said, I want a grade two horse, a really strong grade two like 90 percent okay just know about see if now here's the thing with breeding and if you're new pay attention to this and especially if you're going to be playing this game and you kind of want some breeding tips my stud on the right is a two-star horse samurai arrow right and on the left we have snowbell who is a six-star horse now if we breed these two you see the great chance at the bottom we have a 90 percent chance of getting a 
three star horse and only a 10 percent chance of a two star you see what i want is a really really strong two star horse for those division one events and um unfortunately i wouldn't get it from breeding these two and i'd only have a 10 percent chance so that's typically when you would look for like a lower ranked horse or something and try to you know put the odds better in your favor um samurai arrow and, and uh arrow beauty i swore i bred those two together before i really did hold on um i swore i did something with them but i i genuinely can't remember like did i because um i don't want to breed them again if i already did and i got rid of the the, the horse or the foal they're they're related somehow like, what's the pedigree oh arrow beauty and raindrops impact ah so a six star and a one star horse created samurai arrow that's why he's so good as a two star mm so arrow beauty she's a mare do i have a six star stud sergeant snow you know what i'm curious hold on i'm curious so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set sergeant snow as my stud because i'm curious if i were to breed him and arrow beauty who's this one star horse so we can get another strong grade two or two star horse this is what i mean this type of stuff does take like some thinking like you can't just do this like without really considering whether or not it'll be worth it, especially if you're doing it for live events. Now, if you're just doing it just for fun, that's fine. Okay, there's Sergeant Arrow and then Arrow Beauty. I mean, Sergeant Snow. So, yeah, you see, if I breed these two together, because she's a one-star mare on the left, he's a six-star stud on the right, we have a 95% chance of getting a two-star horse. But, again, I've already done this, so I don't want, to, like, another Samurai Arrow. I don't think he'll be that much better. What would help is if I had a really strong six-star horse that was stronger than Sergeant Arrow. You see his level one stats. He wasn't even perfect. And I'm still trying to get my spreadsheet open on my computer because I have I have a spreadsheet of all, like, what the perfect stats are in this game for breeding. Um, so I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to do Samurai Arrow and, like, somebody else. Or Arrow Beauty. I I'm going to try them out. I don't know how that horse will turn out, but... I probably, I mean, I have nothing to lose, right? <laughs> uh, we can give it a shot. So that's what we're going to do. Um, oh, gosh. Where is this thing? Looking on my computer for the spreadsheet, and uh, I cannot remember at all where I would have put it. My folder, my uh, folder for editing my videos, it's, it's over a dozen separate folders of different games and stuff. Like, I promise you, you guys have no idea how much stuff I have and I've had to do. When it comes to all these games and all this stuff for YouTube, it's quite a lot. I mean, I'm organized, but it's certainly a lot. It can be overwhelming. Um, so, yeah, we're going to breed these two. Uh, we have a 75% chance of getting a two-star horse. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think perfect stats at level one is like 45 across the board. And as you can clearly see here, um, Arrow Beauty, she's only at 42 so that's not really gonna work yeah i have no idea but i'm gonna go ahead and breed these two anyways because like i can't do anything else so samurai arrow and arrow beauty uh we'll go ahead and skip and let's see what the fall is gonna look like i'll just go ahead and use my gold because whatever bro it's another beautiful cult this is what i mean i love this stuff about the game you can't get this in any other horse racing game not to this extent with this detail like there, there's no comparison so 43 speed uh the sprint energy is not good the acceleration so the acceleration and speed are, are decent potential stat bonus is six um beautiful colt i don't even know what i'm gonna name him so arrow beauty and samurai arrow um let me see. Let me see. Um, beauty. Arrow Beauty. Samurai Arrow. I may have to do something different. Um, arrow. Oh, gosh. I have no idea what to name this cult. I'm going to have to probably change it. Um, let me see. Um. Quiet. Quiet arrow. I'm just going to call him that. It's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and feed our newest cult. He is beautiful. Look at his coat. Oh, my gosh. He is beautiful, man. Literally beautiful. Like, I live for this stuff. Like, this, I love seeing the the, the foaling process in this game. You know, it's, it, it's, it's unmatched. 
Don't get me wrong. I love seeing our foals born for the first time in Gallup Racer, but the detail and just the animation and everything, it just it feels so genuine in this game, you know? Um, it's awesome. He looks beautiful. I cannot wait to see what he's gonna what he's going to look like once he's ready to um uh you know uh mature to a stallion because horses sometimes change their looks. Um oh, I forgot it's gonna take forever for him to um grow. Can I do I have enough money to hire a caretaker? Ugh they all cost so much. And that's another thing too. Like the pay to the pay to win thing has gotten worse because half the stuff in this game has increased almost times three. Like it, it's 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 been quite astronomical. Like most games that they're pay to play or pay to win, they keep their prices relatively the same. Rival Stars has definitely jumped it up like by a lot. I mean, look at that background. Absolutely beautiful here at the HRG stables. We got our newest cult, Quiet Arrow, his mother Arrow Beauty. Like, I, it, it, this stuff really, like, it, it's very therapeutic and, like, relaxing for me. It's, it's, I, I really should have been playing this game a lot more a while ago. Um, so, when can I feed him again? Empty horse stall, blah, 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 blah. Um, is it really 17, every 17 hours? Race ready. Now, if I were to skip, um, your foal will mature within the following step bonus points because your current level plus one. Yeah, see, on the desktop, you can feed your horse or your foal like every three minutes. It's a lot quicker. Um, So we got that done. We could do breeding again, to be honest, but it's like, who else am I going to breed? I, I got my grade two or my two-star horse there. Um, Maybe a, we need a horse better than Majestic Beauty. Have I bred her in classic ability yet? Let me see. Let's look at her pedigree. So Majestic Beauty... Maybe I haven't actually done any breeding with her. That'd be strange. Apparently, I've not. I might breed her in classic ability. Two four-star horses. I just need to get some new horses into our stables. We've had the, I've had these same horses for years. Like I'm, I'm beyond overdue. So let's go ahead and do breeding one more time. So we'll set classic ability as our stud. Maybe we'll get a nice little uh, gray here. So we'll set him as a stud. And um, whatever the horse's name is, we're literally going to combine the two. It shouldn't be that difficult. I think I can do breeding again. We have another stall. I don't know what level it'll be, though. Oh, yuck. Tier 5 breeding stall. And I don't want to upgrade it because I'm saving my resources to upgrade my training facilities. So, uh, Lullaby Beauty. No, Majestic Beauty. And then I was going to do Classic Ability. Requires tier six. Seriously. Okay, I can breed Lullaby Beauty. She's a three star, but I can't breed two four stars. That's it's annoying. Hmm, hundred percent of a great th or a division three horse. Eh, I don't know if I'm feeling that. Diamond Dream and okay, your stats are garbage. Ah, uh, okay. I do want to breed again. Snowbell? Ooh. I could try Snowbell and Diamond Dream. I can get another two-star horse. I totally forgot about this. Oh, yeah. That's definitely definitely what we're going to do. Okay. Let's breed Snowbell, our mare on the left, and then Diamond Dream, who is from the stud farm on the right. And we can, we'll have an 87% chance of getting another two-star horse. I'm doing this for the two-star horses because those events, I feel like I have a better grasp of winning. Um, it's the events I've had the most success in winning. So I want to try to continue to keep my horses strong in that Division I, um, Division I category. Uh, so finally, we have two new horses. Well, we have one foal uh, here and another one that should be on the way pretty soon. Um so, uh, Snowbell's falling. She's got five hours. Um, I'll have to wait. And that's also another thing about the game I wish was uh, helped, um, which is really a mobile game thing. I don't really play mobile games that much anymore that, like, requires so much, like, attention to, like, real-life timing. For example, like, I'm a huge, like, Dragon Ball, like, anime fan, so I would play games. Some of you probably haven't heard of them, like Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battle. Those games are the same way, like live events in those games. It's like, oh, you have 12 hours to complete this event. And it's like a real 12 hours. Like, 
that aspect of mobile gaming in general is just kind of like eh for me you know i i do like the games that you just pop in or you load on your computer and you play and they're not time sensitive but i i think that's for everything and it's not just a rival stars thing um so unfortunately our foe is not going to be born in this video but we will be able to see him or her in the next one um is there anything else to do pasture well actually let's go out to the pasture let's go ahead and uh just peep our horses right quick I think I've virtually done everything we need to do here. There are some story mode races. Nothing exciting to see there. I keep going back to the wrong thing. Stables. Apologize. Pasture. Um, let's go ahead and check who's out here. So, Arrow, or Android Beauty. I forgot about these horses. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I feel like a terrible owner. I have horses in the pasture that I literally forgot were even here. I just thought I sold them. Like, no, they're just chilling in my pasture. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that that's wow. Um, so Android Beauty, uh, she is, well, right in front of you, actually, the one grazing. Um, the other one on the other side of her, that is Reluctant Beauty. Yep, that's Reluctant Beauty. Pretty sure. And this is Triple Torpedo, two-star horse. This is stuff I love about this game, man. You can't tell me if you see this and you're looking at this. It's not peaceful and just very calming this is an amazing feature that they included in the game and this is the stuff i'm really enjoying like they're adding some awesome like really laid back features so here's triple torpedo she was a decent mare but not better than samurai arrow i totally forgot i had you all back here i feel awful like i kind of want to move can i move any of them back no i can't once they're here they're here okay fair enough can i move you back to the stables Oh, I can. It takes three hours. What are her stats? You're my... Okay. Hmm. Did she win any live events? Who's her family? I'm going to have to do this off screen. I'm not sure what her stats will be in comparison to my other horses. Um, Android Beauty, I used her quite a bit. I think that's where we got Snowbell from. A Triple Torpedo. Let's visit you right quick. Um, triple Torpedo. You're not terrible. Stats wise, I could move you back, but I'm not sure. Actually, I'm going to move you back because I think we have space to do one more set of breeding. And I could move somebody else out here too, but I'm still using like all my other horses. So it's little stuff like this I really do enjoy about this game, man. Um, I do sometimes wish others could kind of see the appeal to that, but you know, to, to each their own. Everybody's not going to enjoy that type of stuff in a game, especially a horse racing game. And, and, that, and that's fine, you know, it's not the end of the world. But um, that's stuff I do enjoy. So Triple Torpedo, there she is. Oh, she's in transit. I forgot. Duh. So she'll take three hours to move here. We could do more breeding. Uh, like I said, I just need new horses. Could try for a great uh, a three-star horse. Lullaby Beauty and Chronicle Cannon. Dang, that's Star Club, though. Could get another two-star horse. I think we have enough. Who is my um, stud right now? Classic ability. All right, let me change that. So let me switch to is Sergeant Snow training. He's my six star stud, but Stallion. Okay, you're not training. Let me set you because actually he's a custom horse, so he could serve as a good um, a good sire if we can get the right brood mare with him. So let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, breed. Hmm. So, Sergeant Arrow, where are you? There you are. Can we do anything with you? Probably not. Yeah, we don't have the resources for anybody to breed with him. That's unfortunate. Okay, no big deal. Um, So, yeah, I think that'll probably do it uh, for today's episode, at least of Rival Stars. Quiet Arrow, he'll, he's still going to take time to mature, so I'll have to be mindful um, about that. And then Snowbell, uh, she'll be giving birth to a new foal, so... I am not gonna. I'm not gonna play this game until I plan on doing another episode because I would like you guys to see another foal born. So things are looking on the up and up. I think I'm finally gonna start getting back into the rhythm of having stronger horses for those live events. Because obviously you can see. I mean, the live events are challenging. Like if anybody thinks it's an easy thing, it's not easy. Like this is from somebody that's played this game a lot. I'm 29th in Division One, so I'm in Tier uh, Three prize. That's okay. I'm, I'd, I'd still prefer to be like a top 10 for my standards since I have won several live events. But Division 2, um, we're 64th. 
tier priorities uh, five not great and then division three were 42 so um it, it is challenging if you don't have a good horse like it's not like you just you breed a horse you put it on the track and you're dominating like maybe story mode yes obviously story mode's not inherently that difficult but live events are much more they require much more attention to detail like you actually have to really take kind of playing this game semi-serious with that otherwise you'll just be wasting your time so i'll spin the wheel a couple of times this dude trenton never has anything decent to uh say to me try your luck try your luck hey try your luck you know what just 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 move aside bro move aside let me spin the wheel at my own my own leisure and um i need resources bro like they just keep robbing me on resources i need them to upgrade our training facilities because my horses aren't even still performing at their peak, at their best. And I need better training facilities for that. But you can't upgrade your training facilities without getting like resources like hammers and nails and all this like kind of mundane, stupid stuff, to be honest. It is a little bit of an annoying aspect of the game, but I've been playing this game since it was first released. So uh, I am used to everything, despite if it sounds like I'm complaining. It's just me talking at the end of the day. Obviously, if I hated it that much, I just wouldn't play it. I have had times where I've gotten so frustrated I stopped. But I, this my mentality has changed completely from that period, which was almost two years ago, to where I am now. Like I'm in a much different mental space, and I, I can appreciate this game for what it's worth. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Rival Stars. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Our new cult is absolutely beautiful. As you can see him walking right to the center of the screen right now. Um, like I said, we will be back for our next fall. That'll be born from Snowbell. Can't wait to see what that's going to look like. And uh, most importantly, get these horses out on the track, man. That's the main thing. We got to try to get back up to competing. Like I said, I'm taking this serious. As soon as I get enough gold, like I am going to create a team for us. So anybody that wants to play this game or is playing this game, join like we will actually be competing against other real life players in the world to have the best horses and rival stars so you know take some pride with that um if you want to join in with us on that fun appreciate you guys much love and until next time horse racing gamers sending out hope you all have a great and fantastic day we should see you later and goodbye